Julian speaking with us all the way from Asaba, Delta State. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good morning, Doctor. How are you doing? I'm very well. How's it going over there in Delta, Asaba? Everywhere is fine. Still in the coronavirus mm. era, but we're just needing to cope. Last mm. just have to go on. All right, let's start off with um, Dwight York. You heard what he said. He said um, uh, the reason why he's not getting the role to become a manager is because he's black. Do you agree with him? I don't agree with him. I think that he is not getting a job because he's, he's lacked experience. Mm. I know that he had his coaching value, but again, the club side hasn't been able to manage mm. either as an assistant manager or even as a manager. A lot of club sides out there are very ambitious, including the side who even play in the championship, even the world. Everyone is trying to be very ambitious. Everyone wants to go down. Everyone wants to go down. So the fact that Derby County took the risk of appointing and Papa last year was a gamble that they had to take. He wasn't cast in stone if he was going to be successful or not. But at the end of the day, he kept them in the league. Now he's a full time manager of Chelsea. So for Dwight York, I would not want to do that he has a job in black. I think it's due to a lot of experience. All right, let, now let's talk about Manchester City. The case, the hearing has started. Uh, but what do you think the judgment should be uh, from the way they've breached the, the FFP rules and regulations? Um, I'm, not, I'm not going to mince words now. I'm happy that there are not a lot of City fans out there. So Chelsea or Arsenal or any other good side in Europe. Uh, I might have to break a few hands. But for Manchester City, having evaluated everything that they have done, I think that they should be banned. Wow. Now, the extent of the ban is still yet to be determined. I feel that the two-year ban might be, too, might be too difficult for them to take. For them as a club side and their players that they have. But I think that they need to face a very steep punishment. Finding them for 10 million euros is not enough. Because if UEFA can ensure that their ban is up now, it means that they're going to set it to them that any club side who is unwanted will face that kind of punishment. So what I would not like to happen is if eventually has upheld, you know, the uh, the ban of um, UEFA, if a club side commits similar offences in the future, it should also be banned this mm. But having said that, looking at Manchester City and what it's done. That should be banned, but the ban should be reduced from two to one year. Have you ever imagined a Champions League football competition without Manchester City, a big club uh, as big as Manchester City? Well, uh, it is what it is. If, if eventually they are banned, the competition will go, will go on. It's good as they didn't qualify for this one. So there are other teams in England who are their sport. Because if, for instance, the ban is upheld by a it means the city won't be playing in the Champions League even if you finish in the top. Mm. Even if they win the Champions League, they will not defend their title in this game. Mm. So what city should be hoping and praying for is that cars don't up, up, uphold the ban. The ban is not upheld. Because if it, if it goes that way, they're not going to play in the Champions League or even in the UEFA Europa League. It's the UEFA ban. It's not just a ban for Champions League. So they ban for all their competitions. So if, for instance, they win the Champions League, they won't defend next season. They won't play the UEFA Super Cup, and they might even miss the FIFA Club World Cup. Mm. So it's a very difficult situation for them. So I feel that whatever the decision is at the end of the day, just have to move on and accept it in good faith. Mm. All right. Thank you, Julian, for speaking with us today. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Continue to stay safe out there.